Hello there. Here's another derivative for you. This is the derivative of sine x. And it's going to use a little trig identity, but don't worry about that. You don't have to uh, memorize it. It's just uh, we're going to be using this identity, sine a plus b is equal to sine a cos b plus sine b cosine a. And obviously we'll be using that with x's and deltas and blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, so our derivative, f prime, is the limit. Delta x tends to zero of f of x plus delta x, which is this, minus f of x over delta x. Keeping in mind that x isn't going to zero, delta x is going to zero, and x and delta x are not the same. And when we apply our little um, trig identity, we get sine x cosine delta x plus sine delta x cosine x minus sine x all upon delta x. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take these two terms together. They both have a sine x. And we'll factor out a sine x. And we get that plus Ay, ay, ay. Over that. Now you have the limit of the sum of two functions. So we can split it into two limits. The limit of the first thing plus the limit of the second thing. All these limit properties are coming in handy. Limit is delta x tends to zero. Sine x. Cosine delta x minus one over delta x plus the limit as delta x tends to zero of sine delta x cosine x over delta x. So keeping in mind that it's delta x that's going to zero and not x that's going to zero, we take a look here. Here is one of our limits. We know that 1 minus cosine x over delta x, that limit is 0. So this becomes sine x times 0 plus the limit of sine delta x over delta x. Well, that is 1 times cosine x. And we get cos x. Hey, hey, hey. So the derivative... of sine is cosine x. So f prime of x is cos x. Excellent. Not too bad. You could maybe uh, later do the uh, derivative of cosine x using your sum and difference identities. Let's keep it rolling here. Literally. Here we go f of x equals 3 over x. Okay? Same thing, over and over for these limit definitions. We'll establish a few, and then we'll start using our rules. So this is the limit. It's delta x tends to 0 if we're finding the derivative, f prime. And this is 3 over x plus delta x is f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. Hey, Another one of our tricks, isn't it? When you have fractions, get a common denominator. Okay, so this guy's denominator is x plus delta x. This guy's denominator is that x. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by this denominator, the top and bottom of this fraction by this denominator. And 
instead of dividing by delta x, I'm going to write it as times 1 over delta x. So this will become 3x. And I'm just going to do it as one big common denominator. And this guy is going to be this all over this times this. Excellent. So, just algebra it now. Tends to zero. This is 3x minus 3x minus 3 delta x over x x plus delta x times 1 over delta x. Your top simplifies to this. Those are going to go away. 3x minus 3x is gone. You have a delta x up top and a delta x downstairs. Those are going to cross off. And we'll be left with this. And even though our delta x now is in the denominator, it's not non-permissible. It's allowed to go to 0. If this goes to 0, this is x times x plus 0. So really what we're doing now is direct sub. And you get the limit is delta x tends to 0. Which is. Which is. There's your derivative of 3 over x. Keeping in mind, this is the derivative. It tells you the slope of the tangent at anywhere. <clears throat> Uh, at any value of x where your function is defined. Obviously, we can't find the slope at 0 because our graph has a vertical asymptote at 0. And so, as you approach that, the slope of your function goes to infinity as well. One more. One more. Here we go. So, all we've found are derivatives which is what you do a lot in this course, or in derivatives. Uh, not always using that crazy rule. And now let's find a tangent line. Not just the slope of a function, but let's actually find um, <clears throat> the equation of a tangent line at a point. And then you can graph this function, and you can graph that tangent line that we're about to find, and you can see what a tangent line looks like on a graph. On Desmos, here's your function, and we're going to change this to this. 3, negative 3. Okay, so here's our function x squared plus 2x, and we want to find the equation of the tangent line through the point x equals negative 3. So one thing to note is that the tangent line and the function both have to go through this value of x equals negative 3. Okay. And since the tangent line touches the graph at that point, then it's going to have the same y value as your function. So what we can do is we can figure out what this is. And that's uh, this. So both f and f prime pass through. negative uh, 3, 3. Okay, so now it's all about finding that derivative. And here it is. Here's our function, and we'll do our limit definition. One lot. This will be our last limit definition. Be my last limit definition. You'll do some more. I might do a few more too. <laughs> it's hard not to. Come on now x plus delta x plus x plus delta x. There's f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. The limit as that goes to zero. 
foil, 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 algebra, algebra, algebra. And this becomes x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 2x plus 2 delta x, ridiculous, minus x squared minus 2x all over delta x. And then I'm not going to bother rearranging. You can see what cancels out. That's gone with that. That's gone with that. And we end up with the limit. Delta x tends to zero. Of 2x delta x. Plus 2 delta x. Plus delta x. Squared. Over. Delta x. And yeah, you're saying, oh, that's a non-permissible value, but it's going to cancel out, and it's going to be a removable discontinuity, and we'll get the limit as delta x tends to zero. That'll cancel. That'll cancel. One of those will cancel. And we'll be left with 2x plus 2 plus delta x. And then take the limit. Take the limit as... Delta x goes to zero. You can use direct substitution. Put in a zero there. And you get f prime is equal to 2x plus 2. There's your derivative. It's not the equation of the tangent line. We haven't done that yet. This is just a function that tells us the slope of another function. That tells us the slope of this crazy parabola or any value of x we want. It doesn't tell you what the y-intercept of that tangent line is going to be. It just tells you the slope. So, now, find m. And that is, my slope is going to equal f prime of negative 3. The slope is the value of the derivative at that point. And there's our slope. Once you have the slope, y equals mx plus b is the equation of a line, whether it's a fancy tangent line or just a regular line. So that's what our tangent line looks like. And it passes through this point. So we can sub that in for x and y. What? There it is. Is that right? No. That's not right. 12, bring it, that's positive. So yikes, 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 yikes. There it is. My apologies. I like to make at least six mistakes per video. And there's the equation of your tangent line. Now if you pop that into the uh, Desmos, if you graph that, and you graph your original function, you'll see, uh, you'll just see how nice and tangent that thing really is. Here's two places where the derivative doesn't exist. Okay, And one of them you can think about is like... Uh, well, you'll see. So you've got this. Here's an absolute value graph. And it's got like a... It's got a hard point at the end here. And remember, the derivative tells you what the slope is. So over on this side, you can... If it was laid out, you see that, oh, this guy's got a slope here of 1, right on this side. And over here, this has got a slope of negative 1. But what's the slope at this point right there? Like, if you go to draw a tangent line, what does the tangent line look like there? Is, is it this the tangent? Or, or is this the tangent? Or is this the tangent? Okay. Okay, so the derivative doesn't exist when you have a sharp corner. You can't find the, the slope of a corner, okay? So when a graph... 
the sharp corner. F prime of X DNE. And here's our other one. If I wanted to find the slope here, now this is a kooky function. We'll, we'll look at something. Well, is it a function? Uh, we'll look at something like this later, a graph of something like this. You can see here, this thing goes crazy steep, that's what they say. And you have a vertical tangent. And what is the slope of a vertical line? What do you get when you have a you know, zero run situation? Essentially an infinite rise, okay? So, the graph has a vertical tangent. F prime. DNE. Okay? So there's our derivative. It's the slope of a function at a point. You could use that slope to uh, find the equation of a tangent line uh, for most places, but obviously there's some places where you can't talk about the slope of a function and have it make any sense. All right, uh, I'll, I'll email a list of questions to work on.